In this video, we're going to be making a mallet. Um, here is a mallet that I have my students make. It is basically just a, uh, um, you know, a rounded object that's got a hole on it um, that's threaded. And we make, um, you know, this rod right here, and we thread the end of it, and we can strain them together. What I'm going to be showing you here is how to create the mallet um, in, in a very rough mode. I'm not going to be adding in the dimensions. So to do it, we just simply go ahead and create a new, um, we're going to start off by making um, the mallet head. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new part. And I start off by making just a roughed out rectangle. And I add a couple of circles um, up here to the top and the bottom. And these circles are going to end up being the, um, these coves right here, for lack of a better term, um, that go around, around the perimeter of it. I'm going to get rid of the, um, of the outside of these um, circles here by clicking on the Trim tool. So I'm going to select Trim, and the Trim, you'll notice this, the icon is a scissors, because it will just kind of let you cut away anything you want. So I'm going to get rid of this little line segment right here by clicking on it. Uh, I'll finish my sketch, and I'm going to actually revolve this thing. So whenever I work with depth, I always go to my isometric view. I'm going to select Revolve, and the Revolve tool really lets you do some interesting stuff. It will allow you to spin this around an axis. What the program is wondering right now is, it understands that we want to revolve this rectangular shape around an axis, but it doesn't know which axis we, we want to spin it around. So we have, it's looking for us to click on a line. So I'm going to click on this line right here and just press OK. So that's, that's kind of how it works. Um, that's the idea behind making a rounded object. What we're going to do next is we're going to put a hole through this. Now, if we, here's the problem. If we click on create a new sketch, we can't just click on the outside. I, I've been clicking here and you know, it won't let us. And a lot of people really get hung up on that. Um, what we have to do is we have to create, we have to use a work plane, which is right up here. And then that will allow us to create a uh, surface to work from on this rounded object. It's a lot easier than it sounds. We first have to go over here and click on the origin folder. We'll click on the little plus sign next to it. Now, in all honesty, you don't have to work with this area too much. But since we want to, we're going to put a hole right in here. So we're going to click on the YZ plane. And then we go over to work plane and we just click on the outside edge, the outside diameter of the, of the rounded object. And once you have this yellow box up here with the yellow line around it, that's when you know you did it correctly. Let me go ahead and just try that one more time because it's really kind of hard to understand. We first have to click on the YZ plane. All right. Then we go up to um, work features and select plane. And we click on the outside diameter. And there we have it. So now we have an area for us to actually work off of. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new sketch. And to create a new sketch, as you know, we just go up to new sketch. And we have to actually, it won't, for some reason, I don't understand why, but if I just click on here, it won't work. Oops, I created one on the bottom view there. If I click on this on this uh, plane, it won't work. I actually have to click on the line, and then it will allow me to create a sketch right on that side view. Notice how you can't even see it, only from the left side. So I'm going to go ahead and just square it up on my left side and create a new point. Remember, whenever you want to create a, a hole, you, know, you, wanna, you, for, you first have to make a point. So I'm just going to throw one in here randomly, just eyeballing it. I'll finish my sketch. I, I would just kind of give it some kind of isometric view, and then I'm going up to the hole tool. Now, in my class, when the students make this, they have very specific dimensions to follow. So if you're one of my students making this, make sure you're looking at um, the dimensions that you need to follow here. But we're going to, for the purposes of this, we know that we want it to be a tapped hole. In other words, we want there to be threads. And let's say we want it to only go in one inch depth deep. 
and um, the tap depth, the yeah, quarter of an inch sounds about right. Um, here it will ask us the size of the hole that we want. And let's go ahead and make this, you know, maybe like 0.5, you know, half of an inch. So it will allow us here. Um, and these are some of the designations of the threads that we're about to make. Um, ANSI, um, that's a pretty um, standard thread type um, designation. Um, you know, just be for right-handed people here. And um, when, when we're done, we're just going to go ahead and press um, OK. And, and now we have a hole in there that goes about an inch deep, tapped. The first three quarters of an inch are the first three quarters of an inch are tapped. But we still have this this work plane on here, and a lot of people will get caught up on this. Um, they won't understand how to um, get rid of the work plane. Um, in fact, they'll print this out, and the work plane will still be there. Well, there's a couple of easy ways to get rid of it. The easiest way that I found is just right click on it and check off visibility. You can also do it from over here. You go to visibility, and you can bring that visibility, um, you know, to you know, in and out of your assignment. Notice how I right click on the line to get rid of visibility. And there you have it, a rounded object with a hole feature going through the side.